Well, when I saw you here last night, we talked about the rush for rapid COVID tests in DC. They're being offered at eight libraries in the city with COVID cases spiking and the holidays almost here. A lot of people want them. And when these tests became available yesterday, the lines were out of control. So how did day two look? Mike Valerio is back on this story tonight. He joins us live in Northwest with more. Hey, Mike. Hey, Charlotte, good evening to you. You know, earlier I was talking with a security guard at the Capitol View Library. You'll be seeing in a couple seconds and I asked her essentially how today went. And Charlotte, she told me two words, no drama, adding minimal wait times with the families who kept calm, showed up to get their rapid tests with Christmas Eve now upon us. Got both tests. So I can go home and test myself and feel safe and free. Tony told us tonight at the Capitol View Library in Southeast, getting two boxes of rapid tests with no weight and no hassle was essentially just like slicing a butter knife through butter. A far cry from the rollout yesterday when hundreds waited for hours, lines looped around buildings, and by mid-afternoon, libraries ran out of rapid tests. I think it's a little bit silly that we can't get a test anywhere. Uh, you have to wait online for an hour. After that interview in Cleveland Park, libraries restocked and lines shortened. Mayor Bowser said today DC has 250,000 rapid tests on hand. It gave out 10% of its supply yesterday and 6 million more tests are now ordered. I really thought it was going to be a, a very long line, but it was a pretty easy experience. Show your DC government ID and that's it. Nicole with her son said they were given extra boxes for family members who couldn't make it. Well, I want to be extra, extra safe and extra, extra careful around the holidays. Like I said, I'm going to pass it up to family members. We were thinking about trying to gather, but we want to be extra careful these days. Okay, so something else that we want to add before we go. Mayor Bowser noted today that all of these sites where you can pick up these test box uh, boxes are in libraries, sharing library spaces. So when you go in, people are reading, doing their work, you know, after rush hour. So Bowser said that that's going to stop next month that there will be vaccine and test sites in their own standalone buildings in January of 2022. The city's next phase of fighting fighting the pandemic. Charla and it's comforting what that one guy said. It's like cutting butter with a butter knife. All right. Thanks so much, Mike.